Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. And today, especially for you, we will do something unique. Summarize philosophical text of great Polish philosopher Bogusław Wolniewicz. And here with me in the studio is Marek Kondzielski, a former student of Professor Bogusław Wolniewicz. Thank you very much for being with us. Hello, everybody. Thank you for inviting me to the program. Well, you are once again here with us, and today the task is indeed very difficult, because those texts are not easy even to read and summarize during the classes. A philosophical classes in front of students, but we will do it in English. And let's start with, I would say, very profound, important article called The Spiritual Value of Home. And especially right now during the Christmas time, the, the question of home, why is it important, why family is important. And though we all know that in, in in pop art, in, music, in popular culture, the family is attacked from, I would say, for many reasons. And here comes a philosopher which is specializes in Wittgenstein, a philosopher who specializes in, in logic thinking, and he produces and he writes a text which is totally different in anthropology and saying the very important thing that the, that the home itself has more than material value, that it has a spiritual value. So it is a spiritual value, but well, it, it, it's a good start to uh, to discuss some development of Volnevich philosophy, because he started off from ontology. Uh, he used to say that there are two uh, oppositions that are very hard conceivable for a human mind, and one is the opposition between what is uh, finite and what is infinite, and the other is what is in doubt with reason and what is not. And uh, if you take these oppositions, you will see that you have three main fields of philosophy, which he believes is just metaphysics, because he believed after Wittgenstein that philosophy is composed of logic and metaphysics. So logic is the tool of our understanding. Uh, so we have ontology, which is dealing with every being that is not in doubt with reason, whether it is finite, like the chairs we are sitting on, or infinite, like the universe. Then we have a, the being that is uh, in doubt with reason, but is finite. These are beings like us, like human beings. Uh, so this is philosophical anthropology. And then we have theology in philosophical sense of this word analytical philosophy, as uh, he, he did, uh, and it, it considers the being that is infinite and endowed with reason. So uh, home as a spiritual value belongs to philosophical anthropology. Uh, when he uh, eventually have achieved ontology, because he, first he analyzed Wittgenstein's ontology, and then he developed his own similar to Wittgenstein's, Having achieved this, he turned into anthropology and, uh, and theology. And to the problems he believed uh, that, after Kant, he believed that they belong to some universal philosophy, which these are universal problems which are important for everybody. And of course, the problem of home and what, because we naturally, instinctively, feel that home has a value. Of course, because our parents, our family is in it, but uh, especially, especially right now, the home is, like, is under attack from, uh, from a lot of, I would say, sociological or cultural perspective or even political perspective, saying that um, it, it doesn't have such an importance or the family is a form of oppression for people, even, uh, even it's a form of oppression for women sometimes. And that's why uh, taking all of those philosophical tools and showing the spiritual importance of a family is, I would say, something unique. Well, Volnevich analyzed the phenomenon of a home as a spiritual value together with uh, Schrader, uh, who was his, his pupil and friend. And, and Schrader noticed something very important that there is something like a home as a spiritual value. So when you enter upon the apartment or a house, there might be home inside. They were considering what it is. 
this uh, Volnevich understood this home is uh, is a special space where everybody is valued. Let's say in simple words for nothing, for being a member of a home. So he is valued for being himself. And the home is a kind of synthesis, a harmonization of goals between the members of the home. Most importantly, home is a spiritual value. And as this, it is an emanation of women's soul and of women's soul only. There's like a new start for a feminist saying that it's an emanation of, of a woman's soul. But in which aspect? Because he doesn't really want to make it uh, to, to, to actually take down or, or, to, or to any way offend the no, woman. No, by no woman. means. But he believed that this is a deep difference between man and the woman. So man is virtually incapable of creating a home. So the home has a spiritual value, but Volnevich doesn't want to diminish women, doesn't want to uh, make their, their, their role smaller, but that what he says is that woman has a special role at home because uh, what, what you said would be a no start for any femini feminist, but in this case he says that a woman actually have a more important value than a man in that home, yes? Women's soul is endowed with very special and unique ability to create home as a spiritual value, and men's soul is not capable of that. His idea, I mean, his theory is pretty much universal, so he believes that in every civilization, homes are created in this way, because he used to believe that homes and families are more fundamental and basic than any state or religion. Well, this is a very fundamental difference between men and women, which uh, does not imply inequality, but this difference that women's will and men's will uh, have a little bit different directions. And saying that, Volnevich wants to say that home is a field of women's creativity, women's creativity that is unique, that is not accessible is not, uh, for men, and men is uh, uh, not capable of creating a home. Because it's also an element, element of creation, because we, we take four, uh, four uh, basically just a square of a, or a flat or a yes, house, so, so whatever a flat, it is materialistically. A flat or a house is a material uh, fundament, foundation for a home as a spiritual value. But a home is a community of goals and it's a synthesis of uh, some values and however the home may have some contradictions inside, it manifests outside the unity. And the members of the homes are willing to defend the home. There is deep analogy between a nation and a state and a family and a home. And what is more, uh, Volnevich believes that all upbringing process is possible and is effective only when it originates at home, conceived as a spiritual value, and without this role of a home, all the efforts provided by school and then by any other social institution and system uh, are senseless, are not effective. This is a very deep anthropological philosophy, but also very interesting. We will revolve and talk more about those ideas in next episode. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.